The huge numbers of depth charges required to kill a submarine made them very inefficient. Any miscalculation meant that the charges would detonate in the wrong place, and an enemy sub could survive, slip away, and live to fight another day. An evolution in depth charge technology created a ruthless sub-killer. Called Hedgehog, this weapon system was a prickly problem for any submarine that encountered it. The Hedgehog uh, consists of about 30 small bomblets. Each bomblet about 30 pounds. 30 pounds against the hull of a submarine is lethal. It will punch a hole. So the aim here is that you're, you're replacing one big charge with 30 little ones. During the Battle of the Atlantic in World War II, Hedgehog increased submarine kill rate from 7% to 25%. No submarine has ever been known to survive a direct hit from a Hedgehog attack. From 1943 onwards, the combination of sonar and depth charges smashed the Axis submarine forces. Together with the cracking of the top secret Enigma codes the Germans used to communicate with their subs at sea, the U-boat threat had finally been tamed. During the Second World War, the German army conquers the Netherlands, and at that time, the German Navy gets a very important invention known as the Schnorkel. The Schnorkel is designed to allow a submarine to draw air while submerged. It's essentially a tube that runs up from the top of the submarine into the air above with a valve on top to make sure that no water comes in. That allows the submarine's diesel engines to get some air to run the diesels and also refresh the air inside the boat, which allows the submarine to charge its batteries while submerged. Developed in secrecy, the Nazis hoped that by fitting their submarines with snorkels, they could again threaten Allied shipping and turn the tide of the war. But in the end, Nazi Germany fell before their snorkel-equipped U-boats could affect the outcome of World War II. Even so, the technology they pioneered has been an integral part of diesel-electric submarine design ever since.